This is one of the craziest stories I have ever read. How much abuse is too much? We're about to find out. I grew up in what seemed to be a perfect family. My father was a rich surgeon, my mom was a supermodel wife, and my sister and I were excellent in sports, dance, theater, and music. From the outside, things looked amazing, but from the inside, we were miserable. My parents argued nightly. My father would throw things and physically abuse my mother. Once my mom decided to stop fighting, my father would turn his attention to my sister and I. He would hit us, call us names, and tell us how he could get rid of us all and no one would know where to find us. When he wasn't beating us, he made things sexual. I was skinny and blonde and spent most of my years dyeing my hair and gaining weight so I wouldn't be attractive to him. Eventually, that turned into an eating disorder where I lost weight and became the girl who was too skinny. For some reason, my father hated my sister. Even though she did all the sports he wanted her to, he ignored her and only paid attention to me. If I told my father no, it would get physical. And then, my mother began to ignore me. My mom finally divorced my father, but somehow he was still allowed custody. But he didn't want custody of my sister, only me. From the trauma, I've developed PTSD, schizophrenia, night terrors, and so on. I've spent many nights hyperventilating, screaming, vomiting, and my hair would even fall out. Over the years, my father refused to get me help or allow me to take medication. But eventually, I was sent to a mental hospital. After that, things got a little bit better. But my past abuse led to an abusive relationship with a boy. Same things, different guy. Drugs, sexual assault, and more visits to the hospital. This has been my life. Now, as an adult, I have a choice to see my father. But I know if I keep a relationship with him, the house will become mine when he retires. If I had a house like his, without having to work for it, I would be set for life. along with the boats, motorcycles, dirt bikes, housekeepers. I deserve this. I survived everything, so it's mine. I deserve something out of this relationship. He's in his 60s and should be retiring soon, so why should I stop now? going to put up with this for a few more years and then it's all mine. For the first time I don't know what to say.
I honestly don't know what to say. I will say this. I hope you find the happiness you deserve. I hope you find the peace you deserve. I hope you find the man you deserve.